Well, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, a lot of you regular viewers will know that for the last three or four years or so, I've been working together with uh, Senna Bluetooth Communicators, which is a Bluetooth intercom unit that you attach to your helmet that allows you to um, pair up to a telephone, GPS, and allows you to intercom and speak with other riders. Now, my time has now come to an end with Senna, but fortunately, uh, Cardo has got on the bell and they've um, sent me a Cardo Pack Talk Bold for me to test. So I'm gonna be installing this on the helmet. I'm gonna be making a series of videos on this unit um, over a period of time um, to give my thoughts and opinions on how it performs. But for this sort of first video in the series, what we're gonna do is get, get it out of the box, install it on the helmet, and then sort of um, pair up the, f the, the few things that we like to pair it to initially, sort of a telephone and GPS, and that'll be the, it for the sort of the first video. And then later on in the series of videos, we'll talk about um, intercom, um, mesh intercom, and all that sort of good business uh, later on down the line. So for now, we're gonna get it unboxed, get it over onto the helmet, and get a few things paired up. So here we go, the Cardo Pack Talk Bold. Let's get it unboxed and see what, uh, see what we're packing. So here is the, the unit itself. All the sort of usual gubbings, pocket guides in multiple languages, installation guides, stickers, safety warranties, and all that sort of jazz. Okay, we've got our clamp, which attaches to the helmet, which I'll have a look in a sec. Speakers, now this is awesome from uh, Cardo. They work together now with JBL, which are one of the top sort of speaker manufacturers out there. So uh, really looking forward to see uh, see how they perform. The usual normal stuff, a boom mic if you've got a, a flip up helmet, alcohol pad, various stickies, a wired mic. So you've got a wired mic or a boom mic, depending on what helmet you use. We have some more sticky pads. These are sort of some Velcro spacers. Now that becomes apparent depending on what helmet uh, helmet you use from what manufacturer depends on what sticky pad you need to use to install the speakers inside. But we'll have a look at that in a sec over on the helmet. And this is a sticky clamp. Now basically this just means that, I don't know if you can see that on camera on a lot of these here, um, the clamp actually slips in, in between the outer shell of your helmet and through the cheek pad. But on some manufacturers, you can't actually get a clamp to slip in between that. It's a closed, um, it's a closed helmet and you can't actually get anything in between that. So you then would uh, use the sticky clamp to stick on the side of the helmet. But we'll have a look at that in a sec. So that's pretty much it. So right, let's see if we can get most of this on camera. I've actually removed all the inner gubbins of the helmets already. It's basically um, the headliner that just comes out of the top. Um, it's just a, a few a few um, sort of poppers on the front and rear. Each helmet manufacturer is a bit different, so that's why I've sort of done it off camera. I don't want to teach anybody to suck eggs. Remove both the two cheek liners and the chin curtain from the front, and then that exposes the whole interior EPS of the helmet. It makes it a bit more easier to install. So, first off, we're going to install the clamp. You need to figure off, figure out which side. Um, to mount your unit, normally mine goes on the right hand side, so we're going to stick stick with that. So basically this, this clip slides in between, hopefully you can see that on camera, in between the outer shell and the EPS of the helmet. As I said, not all helmets you can get access to that, so it may be that you have to use then the sticky, the sticky mount and that will then just stick on the side of the helmet with 3M sticky glue or sticky pads. So that is now all the way in, that's pretty pretty firm. Right, and all we need to figure out then is which uh, mic you want to use, either a boom mic or um, the wired mic. Now I'm going to go with the wire mic that connects to this one connector here, Bosch. And it comes already with um, the 3M Velcro sticky pad, but because I've already had comms units mounted on the helmet, I've already got a sticky or a, a Velcro uh, pad at the front of the helmet there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stick that straight on. Don't worry about cables for now. We'll tuck that away in at a later stage. Again, the same thing um, for your um, speakers. You'll get two sticky pads to stick on the earpieces. I'm not sure if I can get, get that on camera. Probably not, but in there, there's a little circle and in, uh, a little cut out in the helmet. Most modern day helmets nowadays have got a, a cut out for comms units. Um, so you just put your sticky bit, of, sticky bit of Velcro in there and then you can attach your speakers. JBL. 
It's got to be a winner. Now you need to make sure before you start or use your comms unit to charge it up, which I've already done, and to install um, the latest firmware update on your PC, which I've already done as well, because the latest firm, firmware on these is, I think, 5.6, and that enables you then to um, use JBL speakers, so that needs to be doing. You've always got one short and one long. Now, generally, the long goes over the top of the lid and is generally your cable or your antenna for your radio, and this is then the short ear down to the uh, left-hand side. So what we'll do is install... So that's the right hand side and then the left hand side speaker. So that's both speakers then in. Just need to then make sure you, you tidy up the cables. We'll connect it all up already. Just tape down the cables inside the helmet just to, so it keeps it tidy. You don't want to be having a big bird's nest of um, cables inside so just keep it all nice and neat as possible you don't want to have especially the right hand side because it's the longest cable and it is your antenna for your radio you don't want to have it all um, tangled up in knots throughout the top of the helmet because you may then get bad reception um, on your on your radio so that's all nicely taped in the rest of it we can tuck away into the um, liner once we've uh, once we've sorted all that sort of jazz out now what we need to do is replace the liner. Don't be worried about taking your helmets to bits. It's not it's not daunting, or it couldn't can be daunting for some, but nothing uh, nothing can major can go wrong. And it's really not that difficult to install these comms units. Snap that back into place. You have to be careful on this side not to pinch pinch the cables. Now I've got one more other thing to install on the helmet before I'm finished to install my GoPro mic, but I shall do that at a later date. Right, and that is all there is to it. Installed on the helmet, all we've got left to do is install the comms unit itself. Bosh, and we are good to go. So, first thing we'll do is pair it with my phone, Bluetooth is on, so let's see if we can pair it to the phone. Press and hold the phone button for five seconds. Let's go over to my Bluetooth settings on my phone and search Pack Talk Bold. There it is. Paired successfully. Paired successfully. Gosh, that's one job done. All right, now let's see if we can get it paired to my GPS. So let's power that on. Now we have to press and hold this for five seconds. And then double tap. So double tap that and then jog dial that for GPS pairing. Search for devices. This isn't so much of a how to because this is my first time hands on. So there we are. Pat talk bold on the GPS. So we'll click that. Paired successfully. paired successfully. So I've connected my GPS and my telephone. Now the, the units do have two, uh, two um, channels for pairing two mobile phone devices. So a, a telephone or a GPS or, and or a GPS. So you've got two channels uh, to play with or you can connect two telephones if you, if you wished, but um, GPS and telephone is pretty standard for what I use. So that's pretty cool. Everything works well thus far. Now the only thing left to sort of mess about with is that um, Carlo has an app for your smartphone that you can download. Um, so once you've opened up the app, it will automatically detect this and then uh, connect together. But you do have to make sure you pair your unit with your telephone before you can then use your um, app. It's a bit difficult to see on there. I think the uh, display is possibly a bit too bright. Let's see if we can... Uh Sort that probably not too much glare on there for for the video. But basically on there you can then if you had your telephone mounted on your handlebars, you can control your intercom, your mobile phone, you can control your music and your FM radio, quick access. Allow all that. So basically that splits it down. So at the top there, you probably can't see that too well. At the top you've got your mobile phone. In the middle there you can control your um 
media, so your music and FM radio, and down the bottom there, you can control your intercom. But I think we'll leave that for another vid, but interesting just to see how um, that'll work. So on the intercom, you've got your DMC, which is your mesh intercom and your Bluetooth intercom. Well, there you go, guys. That was just a quick sort of insight, first hands-on unboxing, install on the lid and just sort of a bit of a, a quick sort of start user guide on the, connecting the first few things that we like to always set up uh, with these units before we hit the road. I'm very much looking forward to getting out there on the bike and testing this over the next sort of months um, and I shall be letting you guys know how I'm getting on with that with the possibility of, of, of one or two uh, videos in between on how I'm getting on with this. I'm much looking forward to testing the unit and there is a few sort of key features on this that have, have ticked the box already. First off is the JBL speakers that they've got um, with this unit. The sound quality out of them is, is much, much better than I had on the Cena and much louder. So I'm looking forward to seeing how that um, handles out on the road, especially on higher speeds, whether, whether you can still sort of make telephone calls, listen to your music. And the second thing is that this thing is fully waterproof, which the Senna didn't have. So um, very much looking forward to getting out there and I shall let you know how things um, progress. Uh, thank you for watching. Make sure you leave uh, your comments if you have any questions down below. Make sure you like the video if you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Take care.